Brace yourself for an extraordinary philosophical tale that will challenge your understanding of reality and existence. Baruch Spinoza, the audacious protagonist of this narrative, boldly took on René Descartes' famous philosophical ideas and sparked a heated debate that rocked the foundations of Western thought. But why did Spinoza believe Descartes' philosophy was flawed? Let's dive into the riveting clash of these titans and uncover the profound implications it had on our understanding of the world. Descartes, the revered father of modern philosophy, rose to prominence with his famous dictum, cogito, ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. This concept, known as Cartesian dualism, proposed that the mind and body are separate entities. Descartes believed in the existence of a non-material soul that controlled the body, ultimately shaping our reality. However, Spinoza had a bone to pick with this theory. Spinoza vehemently rejected Descartes' dualistic perspective, arguing that the mind and body are fundamentally interconnected and cannot be divided. He proposed a radical monistic view, claiming that the mind and body are merely two aspects of the same entity. Spinoza believed that we are not separate beings governed by a divine soul, but rather an indivisible part of nature itself. To understand Spinoza's revolutionary position, let's envision the bustling streets of 17th century Amsterdam, where Spinoza spent his days grinding lenses for telescopes. This simple job allowed him ample time to ponder the nature of existence. As he meticulously crafted lenses, his mind delved into the intricacies of reality, challenging the established Cartesian view. One day, while observing the interplay of light and glass, it hit Spinoza like a bolt of lightning. He realized that just as light beams pass through lenses, the mind interacts with the body, shaping our experiences and perceptions. Spinoza's revelation shattered Descartes' dualistic framework, propelling him towards a groundbreaking philosophy that focused on the unity of mind and body. But Spinoza didn't stop there. He took his radical ideas even further, challenging the very existence of a divine, all-powerful God. Descartes, a devout Catholic, believed in a transcendent deity that governed the universe. Spinoza, on the other hand, dared to suggest that God and nature were one and the same, embodying a pantheistic worldview that shook religious foundations. Drawing inspiration from Spinoza's bold defiance, imagine him standing on the rooftops of Amsterdam, gazing at the starry night sky. With each twinkle, a new revelation unfolded in his mind, demystifying the cosmos. He rejected the traditional notion of a personal God, embracing a naturalistic perspective that celebrated the interconnectedness and unity of all things. In the wake of this philosophical earthquake, many criticized Spinoza for his audacity and heretical ideas. Yet, over time, his profound insights gained recognition and inspired generations to question the established dogmas. Spinoza's groundbreaking perspective challenged the dualistic foundations laid by Descartes and paved the way for a more holistic, interconnected understanding of the world. His rejection of a separate mind and body, as well as his pantheistic belief in the unity of God and nature, continue to influence philosophical discourse today. So, dear reader, join me in this intellectual journey as we explore the clash of Spinoza and Descartes, unraveling the complexities of reality and challenging our preconceived notions. Brace yourself, for you are about to witness a philosophical battle that shook the very fabric of Western thought.